Hello, hello! Welcome back to another video. So today is a Sephora haul. So I got my little red and black gold bow in that I got from H&M. And then I got this black hearts top that I got from Walmart. I'm telling you, last couple of years Walmart has had some super cute clothes. So, all right, let's talk about Sephora. All right. Um, I don't shop at Sephora a super duper lot, but this year I found some really great stuff this summer, I should say, specifically. So we'll start with some makeup stuff. So the first thing that I got here is I got two types of the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated. Now what this says is shimmering powder for face and body. And what attracted me to it is they had it out for display. And it, it just looked so beautiful. And then I kind of tested it, you know, on my arm. And it was just really nice. So I'm going to show you what it looks like here. Okay, so first of all, this is the box. And it has two compartments. It has this part and this part. This part holds the brush. And it has like its magnetic closure. The top part has the mirror, of course. And then there is the powder. Isn't it beautiful? So it's just to give yourself, you know, a shimmery kind of highlight. Wonderful for the summer. Taking glowing skin to a whole new level. Now, the other one that I got is um, just a different tone. The one I just showed you is called Aura, A-U-R-A. -A. And this one, this other one, is called Luminous. It's very hard to get this open. <clears throat> and you can see how that one's a little more golden. That's the difference. Very gold. But it is beautiful when you put this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it if I swatch it on my skin. Let's see. Can you can you see it? Let's see. Get a little more of it there. You know, it's just one of those things that you kind of have to, you know, check it out in person. It's really beautiful, and. Um, it's just a, a really gorgeous shimmer powder for face and body. Then the next thing that I got is I noticed that they had had a new type of eyeshadow company. And I got some samples. So the first thing is it's called, it's called Buxom. And uh, this here is a uh, palette that holds up to six shadows. So that's what I did, is I got six shadows to fill it up with. I swatched these on my hand while I was in the store, and they're really, really beautiful. Okay, so let's see here. So the first one that I got is called La La Lavish, and it's just a very nice plum lavender of sorts. Then I got Posh Purple, and this one is a purple. Darker purple. Then I got Lux Life, and that's blue. And they all have a shimmer to them. Then I got Schmooze, and Schmooze is like kind of like a turquoise, like a greenish, greenish blue. And then I got Party Girl, which is pink, hot pink. And last of all, I got Patent Leather. It's, it's kind of, I mean, it's coming up on the camera like it's silver or black, but it's really not. It's, I don't know. 
it, it looks almost a little mauve -y, like a little purpley black, but I don't remember what the swatch looked like. So that's that. Then the next thing that I got, which is not makeup related, is I got this really cool um, face mask, eye mask, and it says stay cool, and it has silver holographic glitter in it. And it squishes all over. And this I found up near the register. It feels so soothing on your eyes. And this is the container it came in. It says glitter and chill. Is that like Netflix and chill? <laughs> like glitter and chill? I'm definitely down to chilling with some glitter for sure. <laughs> and then I got this here. Let's see here. This is by Amika. It is a Mighty Mini Titanium Styler Flat Iron. The flat iron itself is, you know, just like the picture. It's just pretty basic pink. But what's cool is the, is the container that it comes in. Like it's all like duochrome, pinky green. It's that really funky metallic color to it. So that's really pretty. But yeah, the styler looks just like the picture. Just a pink mini flat iron, travel flat iron. Then I got this Peter Roth Thomas Cucumber Detox Depuffing Eye Cubes. And these things are really cool. Um, I think I have a few left, actually. I can show you. So it starts off in this form. And then what you do is you put it in the freezer. And I believe that they say that one pack of that is good for both eyes. It also comes in the package with these little drawstring bags. Now the thing about it is this. It could get messy. It feels good. It smells good. Does it depuff? I don't know because I'm not a person that has that issue. I don't wake up with puffy eyes. But what I like it is sometimes I get like um, headaches in my eyes or my eyes just feel really heavy and tired and sore. So it's nice to, you know, have an eyes, eye mask or something like that to soothe the eyes. Especially after looking at a computer all day and stuff like that. Um, the thing about it is that um, once you take it out and the disc is frozen, right, the liquid becomes frozen, and you put it in this little drawstring bag, and the drawstring bag um, is porous, so, so as it melts, it will come out of the bag, it will get wet. And that's where it gets messy, because what they want you to do is they want you to put it in the bag, and like you have, you have this one cube in there, and you have your eyes closed, and you kind of just like rub it on an eye, then you go and you rub it on the next eye. Then you go rub it on the eye, and rub it on the next eye. And the thing is, is while the heat from your body is making contact with this thing, it's starting to melt. And guess what? At first, your eyes just feel like kind of moist, but then it starts dripping down you. And it starts dripping down your hand where you're holding the bag. And I don't know, I just think it's kind of messy. I don't really like that aspect of it. But then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take any of that excess that has, you know, and just kind of continue to rub it in under the eye, on the eyelid, you know, the whole eye area. Um, so I just don't like how messy it is. The last item that I have to talk about is, again, same brand, Peter, Roth, T P Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. It is an extreme detoxifying hydrator. And that's what it looks like. Now, let me tell you about this. <laughs> so in my previous videos, I was telling you about what happened to me in uh, May and my sunburn or sun poisoning issue that I had had and just how devastating it was. So the thing is, is that once I had already developed some blisters and I just had this really major sun um, sunburn all over my face and arms and chest and everything, there really wasn't much I could do about it other than just try to, you know, soak in cool water and put my aloe vera gel with lidocaine on and things like that. So I was walking through the mall and I saw this stuff. <clears throat> Let me open this up. And I don't know why I was drawn to it, but something drew me to it. And 
I didn't just stop at the title. See, it's just some green jelly. So I turned it around and I read what's on the back of it. And I'm going to read that to you now because this thing is so much more than just a cucumber gel mask extreme detoxifying hydrator. It is so much more than that. Okay, let's see here. Let's see, where's the part I wanted to read to you? Okay. This ultra gentle gel helps soothe, hydrate, and detoxify dry, irritated skin with botanical extracts of cucumber, papaya, chamomile, pineapple, sugar maple, sugar cane, orange, lemon, bilberry, and aloe. May be used under the eye area to help reduce the look of puffiness. Excellent to calm and soothe irritated skin after sun exposure, peels, waxing, facials, extractions, etc. So when I read that, I was like, wow, you know, here I am with this pain, you know, all over my face especially. So they had a sample out there, a tester that you can dip your hands into and try some. So I put it, um, I think I just put it kind of like on my cheeks. And I was like, okay. And because, okay, what I was thinking at the moment is I was like, all right, my face feels like it's on fire. I feel terrible. I'm in pain. So let me put some of this on. I'll walk around the store. If anything, at least it'll be, it'll be cooling, right? Because I was thinking maybe it had some kind of mintiness to it or something. So I did that. I walk around the store. <coughs> It is giving me that sensation. I am definitely feeling like the air, you know, kind of, I definitely felt it being drawn toward my skin and it felt very cold and it felt good. It was soothing. And, you know, I didn't find anything I wanted to buy. So then I left and uh, I was at Caesar's Palace. So I'm walking around and I go to another shop, you know, another store and another store and another store. And I get to some other store and I'm looking at myself in the mirror because I'm looking at whatever. And something was different about my skin. I know this sounds crazy. I am telling you, I am telling you, within the space of like 30 to 45 minutes of having this on, just the small amount on my cheeks, I forgot what was going on at the time. Either I had some peeling or something was happening. It's like it changed. It changed the, the skin. <coughs> and I wasn't having that problem. So I immediately go back to Sephora and now I glop even more on all over my face. I put it on my arms. The, the sales associates were probably looking at me like, girl, that is not out there for you to take a bath in. It's for you to try. Uh, crazy. <laughs> so I, sa I said, okay, maybe I'm crazy. I got to just try a, sh you know, a bunch of this and we'll go home and see how it is. So in the time it took me to finish doing what I was going to do at the mall and go home and everything, my skin felt different. When I woke up the next morning, because I had left it on, like I never rinsed it off, because it said you could either leave it on for just a few minutes or you can leave it on overnight. No problem. The only thing I will tell you, though, <clears throat> is if you put a ton of it on, you're going to start having a green tint to your skin. And um, at first, when you put it on your skin, it absorbs all fine. But when you put too much, your skin just, it can't absorb anymore. So it'll leave your skin looking a little shiny, a little greasy and shiny, and with the greenish tone. But that's only if you put a ton on. Like, I was like, blah. It was crazy. But I was in pain. I was desperate. It's like, whatever. So after I woke up the next day, and I noticed visible results. Like, for example, there was areas of my face that were starting to peel done done it stopped the peeling dead in its tracks and the redness wasn't as red the pain wasn't as painful now obviously I still had the sunburn I still had the issue but I was just saying that it, it created a noticeable difference in an extremely small period of time so imagine if you have a chemical peel or anything else the other thing that I also noticed about this is um, I had broke out I had had an issue where I had broke out a lot and I had pimples all over my face. <clears throat> and this works for irritated skin. Pimples are irritated skin. And it helped 
relieve the pimples, relieve the pain, because it cooled it, you know, it left your face cool, but then also it helped it go away. So this stuff is amazing. It is $50, but I'm telling you, it is worth it. And you really don't need a lot. It will last you a very, very long time. But this is my baby. And another thing that you can do with it, which is what I do with it now, is they recommend that if you like, you put it in the refrigerator. And you keep it in your little drawer or your little shelf in the refrigerator. And then when you need it anywhere on your face or your body, it's all nice and extra cool. And then you just lather it on and rub it right in. Really nice. This is an amazing product. So $50, well spent. And that does it for this Sephora haul. Thank you again for watching my video and have a great day. Bye.